Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make this cool 3D map. I'll just uh, load up the game here and uh, hit A to bring it into view. So as you can see, it's um, a map of the first person starter template and it's attached to the hand. Uh, it'll work for non-VR as well. Um, so it's just a 3D map. Um, let me just take off my headset here and we'll get started. Okay, so I have here a new uh, blank first person project. So I'm just going to create a new actor and we're going to call it BP 3D map. And then this guy on um, begin play, we're going to get, uh, we're going to actually, sorry, close this custom event. And we're going to call this new event get all static actors. And in there, we're going to get all actors of class. Whoops. Get all actors of class. And the actor class will be static mesh actor. And then for each, get collision object type. And if it's equal, equal to world static, we're going to add it to an array. So we'll do add okay and um, we're gonna make a new custom event create world map and uh, we're going to whoops we need to actually make our array world mesh actors And then for each loop, we're going to um, get world transform off the static mesh component. And then we're going to split this. And we're going to divide the location by a float. And we're going to also apply that to the scale. And we're going to make that a variable. And we're going to call it scale divider. And by default, we'll make the uh, value of scale divider 100, so it's 100 times smaller than the uh, world. And uh, now we're going to do add static mesh component. We're going to split this. And I'm just going to look real quick at exactly what I did so I don't mess this up. Okay, so we're going to transform this location which will convert it from world space to uh, local space and get actor transform so this will allow us to move it around in the world and whatnot and we'll just connect all this connect the rotations up rotation doesn't need to be scaled and we're going to do a few things to this we're going to set collision object type to world dynamic and this will be so it doesn't uh, show up if we have another map we won't like create infinite an infinite loop of uh, creating a map of the map set collision response enabled to false to no, no collision rather and we also want to set the static mesh and we're going to set that to this guy uh, get static mesh just scroll to the bottom get static mesh so that's just off the static mesh component of the world mesh actors array okay so that's pretty much all we need I think so on begin play get all static actors and create world map now we can drag one into the world and uh, drag this up. We'll just hit simulate. Looks like it has a little uh, weird height for some reason. It's weird that it has that height. It didn't have that um, 
in my other version. Always something when I make a tutorial. Well, at least we have the um, the map now. Uh, so I'll do. I'll show you guys attaching it to the hand now. That might it might just fix it up, attaching it to the hand and resetting everything. Although it probably not because it has the height. But we'll see. We'll see what it does. So what we'll do is we'll go into our blueprint character, and uh, we'll go to the begin play, and we'll do spawn actor from class, and we'll set the transform to the, this nothing, and 3D map. We want to attach to component, and I believe there's one step that I don't want to forget, so let me just verify. Uh, no, we're good, actually. So we'll just connect it to the left motion controller. We'll s uh, snap the location to target, snap to target, scale rule, we'll keep world. And now to toggle its visibility, you can just uh, create a variable and set actor hidden in game. Um, I won't bother showing that. It's I'm just gonna load this up in VR and see if this actually works. Yep. All right. So we have our uh, little world map, and there you go. Let's say make a world map that you can use in VR and uh, non-VR. Thanks for watching, and uh, check out my other tutorials and the Space Combat Kit, available now on the Unreal 4 Marketplace. Thanks for watching. Bye.